The new blockbuster movie, White Boy Rick, starring Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey, is in the movie theaters right now. It's about the life of teenage drug dealer Rick Wershey, who remains behind bars after being sent to prison at the age of 18. Well, for the first time after seeing the movie, I sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Wershey's sister, who's angry about the way her family was portrayed in the movie. <laughs> We were portrayed in the film as like that? low class, yeah, dirt sure. poor, just scuzz bags. I'm not gonna let you ruin your life, Don. No drugs in the house. I don't know what other word to use, I mean, and that's not the way it was. Dawn Scott and her brother Rick Worshi, better known as White Boy Rick, were raised by their dad on the east side of Detroit in what used to be a middle class neighborhood. She says the way her grandparents, who are now deceased, were depicted on the big screen hurt the most. They helped raise them and lived right across the street. They looked like a bunch of derelict drunks that just didn't care and were wild and crazy, and that's the farthest thing. They were the most meek and upright people you would ever meet. Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey plays Rick's dad. What upset you the most? What has he said? Well, he said that my dad couldn't handle us kids and that he had Rick sell drugs because he couldn't cut the mustard to pay the bills. And that's the farthest thing, farthest thing from the truth. Dawn was only 17 when her brother, only 14, started wheeling and dealing drugs. Dawn says he was an undercover informant for the FBI for six months to a year until he was shot and severely injured. I mean, here they were using a child as an underage informant, which I would think is against all types of laws. Unlike in the movie, she says her dad, who also made statements to the FBI, was outraged and wanted Rick out of the drug business when he came home with $50,000 in drug money. Rick refused, so my dad took the money and threw my ex-husband and Rick out. Don says Rick bought a house down the street and kept rolling. Crack cocaine was the cheap drug of choice. Selling drugs is sort of like a, a gambler. You know, when you win that jackpot, you want more. You know there's a bigger one out there. In the movie, you said they portrayed you as a heroin addict. Well, they never really say what, but we're all assuming that is, that is the drug of choice just by the way the character acts, which I've never done heroin in my life. Don says what they did get right was how white boy Rick came to be. That's how Rick was. That's what Rick did. He did his own thing. Don says what you see in this Hollywood film was born out of the media circus surrounding white boy Rick that began in Detroit. It was, it was like he was a rock star, and he wasn't, but it, it made him more than what he was. Dawn says she and her family signed two different movie contracts but refused to sign a third for this version you see in theaters now. They were never consulted for the film and never saw a dime. Now, after supporting her brother during his life behind bars for 25 years, she's hoping when he's released in 2020, their relationship as brother and sister can begin again.